So good afternoon. I will talk about methamphetamine and amphetamine in matching hair and nail samples. So both hair and nail are keratinized specimens types that are useful for drug testing. Last year uh, of this time, we published the uh, concentrations of drugs of abuse and nails um, tested in our laboratory for a three-year period. And we concluded the study by saying nails may be a superior alternative keratinized specimen type to the hair samples. And generally speaking, most drugs are present at greater concentration than their metabolites. And this study had drew lots of attention and good questions were raised. Um, uh, such as, do drugs have to be detectable in both matrix types when they are collected at the same time from the same subject? And if they are positive for both matrix types, are the concentrations correlated in nail with those in hair? So to address those questions, we looked into the test results in the hair and nail samples sent to our lab in pair. And we found that the amphetamine and methamphetamine are positive in greatest um, number of paired samples, whereas the other analytes are um, much fewer pairs to make meaningful discussion. And those are uh, some examples for those. Um, our laboratory did conduct the studies for uh, paired hair and nail carboxy THC and ethyl glucuronides in college students from Wisconsin. And those are the results. We found very good correlation between the nail and hair for carboxy THC, and particularly it has greater uh, concentration in nail samples. And the same observations are for um, ethyl glucuronide, particularly for the male subjects. But the correlation, as you can um, uh, notice at this time, for female subjects, the correlation is not as great. And we thought that this cosmetic treatments may have caused the hair samples to lie on the zero axis here. So we have some um, experience for the acidic analytes for the pair and nail samples, but not so much for the basic drugs. So in this talk, we focus on methamphetamine and amphetamine. So I will present their concentrations in the paired hair and nail samples and the interpretation when it comes to the two uh, samples of um, the discrepant results. So those are the chemical structures of the two drugs. Both of them are um, uh, stimulants. Methamphetamine has a greater stimulating effect and um, uh, abuse of potential than amphetamine. Um, illicit and prescription drugs are available for the two drugs. On top of that, amphetamine can be metabolized from methamphetamine. And there has been quite extensive studies um, already done measuring methamphetamine and amphetamine um, concentrations in various matrix types um, after the subjects take the oral doses of methamphetamine. So in general, we have seen the parent drug has greater concentration than the metabolite in plasma, oral fluid, and urine in certain detection window. And before I get into the drugs concentration in hair and nail, let's take a look at how uh, they are deposited into hair and nail. So um, drugs shows in hair through three routes, through blood vessels into the um, hair roots or on the surface through sebum, as well as from um, sweat excretion and the simple um, environmental exposure. Um, the sweat and oil can bathe the drugs from the hair surface um, through into the hair shells because of the porous nature of the hair structure. So you can imagine at this point, the if you see the metabolites of the drug in this um, hair sample, the e environmental exposure route could be excluded, unless the drug to um, metabolite conversions can also happen spontaneously from the environment. As for the nail, the keratin or the drugs as well as the keratin will grow into the nail together through two dimensions. One is through the germinal matrix horizontally through um, the free edge and the second dimension is from the nail bed upwards onto the nail plates. The nail keratin is about four times thicker than the hair keratin or more um, 
technically speaking, um, four times more condensed. So one may anticipate that the drugs are captured more in the nail than in hair and provide a greater um, detection window. Now this is the only study to my knowledge concerning the amphetamines in paired head hair in fingernail. Um, it was done in Taiwan, six uh, Taiwanese female subjects under the um, meth addict treatments enrolled to the study. Um, their head hair and fingernail were collected in pair on a monthly basis for the analysis. Both analytes became not detected three months after their last intake. And the results showed that um, the drugs are, um, seem to be greater amount in hair than their uh, paired fingernails. However, it has been well established that the hair, natural hair color can bias the concentration, so this conclusion may not be as well representative. But last but not least, we see a um, greater amount of the um, parent drug compared with the metabolites. So what do we see in our lab? Uh, this slide overviews the um, test uh, processes in our laboratory. We treat the hair and nails pretty much the same way. Um, we take the um, 20 milligram of hair strands and nail clipping through the same procedures. And if we receive the uh, long hair sample, we cut this into only one and a half inch of strands uh, from the root ends. So both uh, go through acetone wash and powdering. Initial testing are done by um, uh, two ELISAs calibrated at 500 picogram per milligram. If the results become um, presumptive positive, the sample will be reflexed to take the second aliquot for confirmation testing. Um, it is uh, quantitative testing, and we can um, quantitate down to 40 picogram per milligram. So we found in this period of time 124 um, paired hair and nail samples. Um, one of them, at least one of them, it, um, was screened and then confirmed for one of the analytes at least at 40 picogram per milligram. And here I start to count categorize those um, uh, pairs of samples uh, based on their test results. So the first is the biggest cat category. Um, that those are the matching um, meth M and M's results, which means that um, the paired samples have the test results agree with each other. Um, more than half has this kind of test profile. And the first group of subjects under this big category um, are positive for both analytes, 47 subjects. And here I plot the box whiskers chart to compare um, the meth and in hair and nail um, distribution. So you see, um, this is the box. Um, the line inside of the box um, mark their median concentration and the dots mark their average concentration. So in the big picture, you might say that the um, methane appears to be higher concentration than in nail than in the hair, but that's not always the case. About uh, 20 pairs out of 47 have higher concentration in hair than the nail. And the graph on the right-hand side is the method correlation between the two paired specimens. Um, considering that the two variables come from two separate specimens results, um, the correlation coefficient or the R value greater than 0.6 is considered a um, strong correlation. This is the AMP results come from the same group of subjects. Um, the observation is pretty much similar, except that the um, AMP concentration is much lower compared to methane. The correlation between the um, two samples are not as great. Um, it's only a moderate correlation. And here is an interesting observation I have here. I um, plot amphetamine with methamphetamine from the same hair sample, and it shows very strong correlation. But it's only moderate correlation when it comes from the nail samples. 
So this is the only group of subjects I made the paired hair and nail uh, comparisons. And in the next few subjects, um, the uh, number of pairs is so little that um, the comparison may not be as meaningful. So um, under the same big category, we only have four pairs of samples that came up as methem only. Um, two of them had greater concentration in nail than the hair, and the other two had the opposite results. From here on, I put the um, box whiskers chart um, for one analyte in, from the same uh, matrix type um, <coughs> to be displayed between um, different groups of subjects. So that we, had, we can have a bigger picture to take a look what the um, analyte concentrations are distributed when it's um, positive along with something else or by itself. With that said, you can see methamphetamine is at greater concentration when it's positive along with AMP versus when it's positive by itself in only hair sample. And the same thing showed in the paired nail. The last group of subjects um, have 18 pairs with AMP only results. Majority of them have higher concentration in the nail. In this case though, AMP only results tend to be higher concentration as opposed to uh, what we just saw from methamp. So um, we can roughly say that the amphetamine that comes from methamp metabolism doesn't come as high concentration when the subject's directly uh, exposed to the actual drug, amphetamine. So the Adderall intake would be that type of scenario. Now let's get into the unmatching results. Um, those means that one of the paired specimens have discrepant um, uh, methem and amp results with the um, other specimen. So in this slide, I display the nail only subjects. Um, the nail samples are positive for one or both of the analytes versus the, their paired hair is negative for both. 27.5% of subjects are like this. There are 15 pairs positive for both in the nail only subjects and <coughs> nine is positive for methamp only. So once again, we see the similar pattern. Methamp is higher concentration when it's uh, positive along with AMP. 10 subjects is um, AMP only subjects and once again, AMP when it's positive by itself, it gets higher concentration. Positive uh, interpretations for nail-only results are several, and I only list three of them. Nails may have longer um, detection window than hair. Drugs may have accu accumulated in nails more than in hair, which may be a hair color dependent statement. And hair might have been cosmetically treated that the drugs are depleted of drastically compared to the nails. So the last group I want to discuss is the hair positive only groups. 12% of our study groups are like this um, type of profile. It's less prevalent than the nail only. So once again, methamp in the hair only um, profile shows greater concentration than when it's positive by itself. And um, AMP only um, gives greater concentration. Positive, uh, uh, possible interpretations for the um, hair only results would be drugs may have appeared in hair sooner than the nail tip. Um, drug may have been uh, adhered to the darker hair better, which again um, is dependent on the the hair color, and um, porous hair nature may have made the hair being susceptible to environmental exposure. And those are just the miscellaneous results that I won't spend too much time to discuss. So in summary, majority of the hair and nail pairs have the matching positive results for the metham and or amphetamine, but um, discrepant results between the two types of keratinized specimens um, is um, uh, quite well populated, but nail only results um, is more probable than the hair positive only cases. 
And when we get to the cases that have both the uh, amylides positive in both pair um, samples, methem tends to be higher concentration than AMP. But um, not as expected, nail concentration are not necessarily give higher concentration than hair. Last but not least, methane tends to get higher concentration when it's positive along with AMP, and AMP tends to be higher concentration when it's positive by itself. So with that, thank you for your attention.